All right, so what is this backend system? I keep bragging about that generates me extra revenue every single day in my Shopify dropshipping business. What's going on everybody? Your boy Juan Valdez back with another video and today I'm going to be going over how you can actually build a back end to your Shopify dropshipping business. Now, when it comes to the back end, there's a lot that goes into play. It's a lot more than I can actually fit into one video. You know, you have upsells and downsells, email marketing, retargeting and a whole lot more. So I'm thinking about making this into a series. If you guys want to see a lot more videos talking about the back end, of course, drop a like on this video in the comments below. Let me know what specifically you know within having a back-end system you guys would also want to see if i don't cover it and of course if you haven't already make sure you join the vfam smash that subscribe button so to kind of get started i want to show you guys this quick little screenshot from just a few days ago right so i did i was checking the last seven days for email marketing we actually use clavio for different reasons just because it's a lot more advanced for anyone just getting started i recommend for you guys to start off with mailchimp but for people that are more advanced definitely clavio just for different reasons and we're going to go over the difference between flows and campaigns i haven't really sent out any campaigns the last seven days from flows i've generated an extra 1213 dollars but this was all automated that's why i talk about you know how you can generate free money with email marketing because literally once it's set up this each emails automatically go out and they automatically generate you you know revenue every time that somebody buys from when it comes to email marketing it's a lot more than just sending out promotions right everybody thinks about email marketing oh you're gonna send out your you know 30 percent off all these products and set up a, a collection of products and you know put together some good images and send it out that it's a lot more than just literally putting your products in your emails and send them out to your email list like that's that's literally just scratching the surface in fact when i actually first got started with email marketing one of the biggest mistakes i made was thinking that all i had to do with email marketing is email my customers all the all the time different email promotions that they could buy because i thought they'd be interested in it and when it came down to it that's actually not how i was supposed to do it and i just i obviously made some money from doing email marketing that way but not as much as we do now with the system that we have in place so to kind of get started right some of the key things you want to know is that email marketing takes work up front but then it can become automated right very automated and I'm gonna explain exactly how but if you do it correctly you can make a lot of free money and one of the reasons why I call it free money is because just like I showed you guys one in those email flows or series those emails are go are going out automatically so I don't even have to do anything and they're literally just generating extra revenue every single day and what do I mean by email series well Email series are a specific series of emails that go out to a customer based on their actions, right? If a customer comes into the store and you know it's their first time there and they sign up for your newsletter, well that's a specific series of that's a specific action that a customer took on your store. And basically what you want to have is you want to have all these different series in place so that way whenever a customer either comes in, abandoned cards, buys from your store, comes back and buy more than once, pretty much anything that a customer ever does, they're put into a specific series of emails that's custom to their action. But one of the main reasons as to why you want to have this system in place is because you want to get them used to actually opening your emails and reading them. It's already hard enough to get people to see your emails because obviously they're getting bombarded by all these different companies. So you want to get them to see your emails. And one of the ways you do that is by not emailing just promotions, right? Every single email series has a different amount of emails, but the range is that they usually have anywhere from three to five emails almost every single time, right? Uh, one of the first kind of emails is content emails. And that's obviously super important because when it comes down to email marketing, one of the ways you keep customers opening your emails is by sending out valuable content to them, right? Valuable information. Nobody's ever going to get upset about an email coming in with something that's valuable to, you know, maybe the kind of interests that they have, products that they liked, um, products that they've bought before and a whole lot more. Nobody's going to get upset about that. Now, if you're always sending out email promotions, that's probably something that people will get upset about and then unsubscribe from your list and of course you don't want that because having an email list is one of the most valuable assets you can have when it comes to having any business overall like hands down so you have content emails now relationship emails you're going to be sending these out and these relationship emails are don't worry some of these may sound like complicated but in reality they're not relationship emails is literally emails made specifically to help build a relationship between the customer and your store and there's nothing like too crazy that goes into it basically the ultimate goals of these emails isn't to be long or crazy literally just to help build that relationship right and there's different things you can do to do that 
The next kind of emails you guys will be sending out is brand building emails, right? For example, you can send out emails to brand new customers that come into your store, you know, like ones that sign up for your newsletter, letting them know like what's the vision of your you know your store right why did you guys choose to create a wilderness store right maybe you guys watching you know you saw a specific niche or need for specific wilderness products or outdoor hiking products let's say and that's why you decided to come up with you know your store so that's a good reason to have or like a good mission statement to kind of have behind your store and your business and you can literally have an email you know written out with a, the specific message saying like hey this is why i chose to start this store and that could be like a brand building email of course you guys already know you we're gonna have promotion emails having again retail products free plus shipping and a whole lot more but all these emails work collectively to help you bring in more sales even though like content emails not might might not bring you automatic sales right away compared to like a promotion email but they're still super important now, the last one that we have here is coupon emails. Obviously, these are super easy. You're gonna be sending out specific coupons with specific deadlines and specific dates that they can be used by. That way, people actually take advantage of them and rather than just leave them sitting in their email. So, the first set of email series that you have, you can have in place is a pre-purchase series, right? And this is basically a series of emails that a customer will receive when they first come into your store and they don't buy anything, right? They're just brand new, maybe they either sign Sign up for your newsletter or uh, they maybe put in their email to get a coupon if you use that Wilio app that gives them a, a chance to win a, a discount or a coupon a discount coupon uh, if they put in their email on there they will get put into this specific email series you know that there's gonna be specific emails going out for that series so that's the first one basically all these different email series they all have ultimate goals right for so with pre-purchase email series your goal really isn't to sell the customer anything right you're just trying to build that trust with the customers that they actually feel comfortable buying from your store. You know, that's really the main purpose of having a pre-purchased email series. Now, the next one is you have abandoned cart email series. Obviously, you guys have heard me talk about this before, but with abandoned carts, it's real simple. Basically, it's when somebody comes into your store, they add a product to the cart, but they don't end up checking out for some reason, right? Maybe they're doing something, they're driving, they got distracted, they were hungry, had to get some food, whatever the case may be, they just didn't get to have it. And again, the purpose of this email series is to remind the customer again that they were interested in this product and you understand that they were busy but you want to remind them that they still have the chance to get this product and they may potentially have you know only a certain amount of time or a certain amount of days or you may be running out of the product so you just want to give them a quick reminder right really for new customers it's going to be a series you have in place and for new customers all you're going to mainly going to be doing is just thanking them for actually buying from you right having that confidence to really you know purchase from your store and a lot more people love getting thank you emails obviously showing them that showing them the appreciation that you have the next one is a welcome email series and this one right here is for you know really that relationship and brand building and again nothing crazy these ones are going to be you know you talking about your story you talking about what the customer can expect to receive you know like what kind of emails they can expect to receive over the next couple days couple weeks couple months and just some kind of overview of you know what kind of emails they're going to be sending out what they can expect to see from your store and a whole lot more right just getting them used to you know your store and your business because now they're going to be part of a community and people love being up to date and on the same page so that's what this welcome series is for literally just keeping the customer up to date on different things that's going on in your business customer win back series the customer win back series is specifically for customers that have already bought from your store but haven't ordered again within the last 30 days obviously our goal isn't to just get one customer to buy once and that's it our goal is to have customers come in and buy more than once obviously because that's a lot easier it's a lot easier to get someone that already bought from you to buy again than it is to get a brand new customer so obviously we're going to have incentive in incentives in place and a lot more to get people to come back and buy now it's important to have uh, this series in place because for specific customers that have bought once that haven't bought you know in the last 30 days there's going to be specific uh, coupons and discounts that they're going to be able to get compared to a customer that has already bought more than once right 
of course it's going to be it makes much more sense to reward a customer that has already bought more than once a lot more than a customer who has only bought once but hasn't purchased in the last 30 days these email series are a little bit different than the other ones is because the customers have already went through these series right so they've already got hit with pre-purchased emails they've already gotten hit with abandoned cart emails if they've abandoned cart if they're a brand new customer they've already been thanked for their order if they're brand new to your store they've already you know receive those brand building emails those relationship building emails it takes having all these different emails in place to really get up to the point where then you can email you know promotion and coupon emails pretty much whenever right that's what i really wanted to do here and when it comes to email service provider i would recommend for anyone to get started with mailchimp it's super easy to use it's very it's it's a lot more beginner friendly than clavio clavio is a lot more advanced so it does take like a good amount to like play around with to really learn how it all works now obviously if you guys want to jump in and be a lot more advanced i'm not going to stop you but i would recommend for you to get started with mailchimp that's actually what i got started with those are pretty much the top two email providers service providers that i would recommend just because those are the ones that i've used i've tried some other ones but those are some of the main ones that I've had good experience with and I know that are a lot common that other people use. Try it out, you know, let me know what you guys think. So of course, if you guys picked up any golden nuggets from this video, make sure you drop a like. If you have any questions about anything I went over, drop it in the comments below. And of course, if you haven't already, make sure you join the VFAM, smash that subscribe button, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.